So let's uh, let's go to <laughs> round five. Yeah. Bam. Oh my. More fish. More fish. Muscles. We need more fish. Where are you, dude? Muscles. Right? I guess we got to get uh, some fish players on camera next round or next uh, event. If you want to hate me more, the ad nauseum was top decked. Yeah. <laughs> the rubbing on the table yeah. helps. So. Lyle and Jeremy, ranked number one and two players going into the Season 1 Invitational. Our current Season 1 champion, Drew, in the finals, both sitting at 12 points. Sure, so 13 let's, points. Let's start the season off 13 points yeah. even. I hear uh, when you when you go about nine points at our Invitational. If you go, if you get three and two every week, you will be at pretty much at least 90 points, which was equal to around the third second and third place yep. players. Yeah. So if you get at least three wins each week, you are going to have a really good chance of making it into the top eight. Yeah. Um, so that means we're going to be seeing one of our nine-pointers on camera. And after such an exciting match, we're going to bring Derek back on camera. He had such a good time. He had such a good time. So we said, Derek, let's see how you do. Against probably one of your I worst matchups. Against one of your worst matchups, in fact. It's so round five, guys. Round five, ad nauseum versus in fact, playing against, ah, the birthday boy himself. Indeed. Chris Keller. It is his birthday tonight. Now, Chris Keller, uh, Derek, I think was, what, around the 20s and 30s by the end of the first season Invitational? There, yeah. Um, yeah, but that was because he pretty much he played was, the he, last. He few. played like the entire from like February to April, like week in week out, leading up to the Invitational. Yeah, we start the Invitational and then he doesn't show up. Yeah, <laughs> until like the last couple weeks of it. So and I and I must say that Derek, we credit. Yes, it was. The, he sat down with me. We were playing one night, and he said, "Hey, you know what you guys could do." You guys can do a Star City esque. We're not stealing. Star City esque. We told him we are. <laughs> Real sorry. Um, player Invitational. Yeah. And then he just ghosted for the next six weeks and then came back. Christmas Keller. That worked. Um, and then Chris uh, had a couple really great showings. Maybe three weeks of five and O's. Yeah. He he was he just like was. Dominating, and then the last he basically two weeks. last week in particular, like la last two weeks, he was only able to stay three rounds, and <laughs> so the week nine he stayed the three rounds. I think he went two and one or three zero or something yep. like that. Um, and then he had to show up the final round to guarantee lock in, or guarantee get himself in, but he didn't show up, and that blew everything wide open. Yeah. Also, I thought. Keller was our age, but he is not. He's not. <laughs> he is. He's he is slightly younger. He is. If if Facebook <laughs> teaches us anything, right? is that people, people. <laughs> look older than they actually are. <laughs> <laughs> or just you know makes me feel a little bit older. But Everybody you, around me is younger now. But you will ha be happy to know that he is a team mystic. Yes, he is. Which is real Best. sad choice he's made in a long time besides going Whoa. to in fact. <laughs> One step. <laughs> Today is trucker. <laughs> so, this is going to be a tough match for Derek. Um, so we've talked about the Ad Nauseum deck previously. Yep. In fact. Yeah, you want you to tell me about it. Oh, then, I would love to. Yeah, why don't you tell so, in fact, is a great deck. It's a deck designed to help keep the Ad Nauseum deck in check uh -huh. because of how quick it is. Sure. It's kind of an aggro combo deck, if you will. Okay. That's the way I like to describe it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> your objective is to deal 10 points of damage. Oh, that's it. With huh? one of your infect creatures. 10 Link points, Moth, that's Link it. Moth, Glistener Elf. That's it. That's it. Easy enough to do with your pump spells like Might of Old Corosa, Ground Swells. Oh, uh, just to just to really just grind it in. Minor Old Prosa plus four damage. plus four. If you cast it on your main phase, yeah. Uh, become immense plus six plus six. Instant speed. You just got to delve five cards. 
No problem. Sure, yeah. I mean, you're fetching, this you're This is healthy. These pumps. <laughs> You've run mutagenic, so you have the option of that turn two kill. Right. Which, Keller's, I believe last time I talked with him, his is the quicker with the mutagenics to have that turn two kill. So you do it right. What? Turn two kills? Yeah. Yeah, it's great. I mean, it's one of the decks that does break that turn four rule. Mm -hmm. um, but it is a deck that is easy to disrupt and hate out. So, I don't know. There's plenty of decks that <laughs> Removal deck spells. Yes. <laughs> uh, Pad to Exile. <laughs> <laughs> Seven cards for our players. Both sitting at nine points. You know what we don't have on here? Their points. Um, correct. I was slacking on the points. You're fine. Wear the hair shirt. I'm just jealous of all this glorious hair. <laughs> and look, look at this. I'm still in the background. I'm still look at that. <laughs> Hogging up the AC. Hogging the AC, getting as much camera time as possible. Oh, look at this. Oh. Ad nauseum and Angel's Grace. Great. In opening hand. Yep, seems fine. He says, yeah, I'm glad that you're mulliganing because I'm going to try to kill you. Now, I don't think I saw a Infect Creature in Keller's hand. Okay. So I think that's a big reason why he is mulliganing down. <laughs> that's a little picture of me right Sad now. Sad and And he's looking up to anyone that'll listen. Is this the hand for me? Mutarin in chat asking. Oh yeah, thanks. So uh, this matchup's pretty good for Infect, right? That that is the best way to put it. Like you just kill them, turn three while they wait for mana. Um, sometimes it like. The Ad Nazi player gets really good and is a really good hand um, and is able to do well while you might have a slower hand. Um, but most of the time, Infect just kind of runs over them. <laughs> Penalty! Glister Elf! Wait a minute! What a surprise! What's Keller up? is playing lands in the back, he's not playing lands in front. He's on, he's on camera. Yeah, but he always plays lands in front, doesn't he? It's true. Maybe he's hoping for good luck with lands and back. No, man. Hey, I'm all for it. I support it. I already voted, so you can't vote again. Dang it. I'll put Instinct on there. Two votes for Ad Nauseam, one for Infect. <laughs> so far. What's, what's in the what's box? What's the result for the uh, Pokemon? It's not important. There's lots of votes. It's still going. I want to know. Who's winning? So, Gataxian shows off all of this cool stuff. <laughs> says, look at my Simeon Spirit Guide. My Ad Nauseum. My Angel's Grace. So, I'm going to kill you soon. It's Mystic. Just be quiet. <laughs> it's like it's the best uh, team. No, it's just blue. Lands in front is the worst Pokemon Go team. <laughs> <laughs> All right, breeding pool, untapped. I'm gonna take two, go to eighteen. Um, but he also played Gitaxian Pro, so he's at sixteen. Might. Yep. Pendlehaven. Four, five, six. Gotcha. Gotcha. Alright. There's turn two. Six points. <laughs> My opener was Grace and five lands. <laughs> Seems good. <laughs> it's our insane. Wizard said, no more lands in front on camera, guys. <laughs> So 
see if you play all that's right, Guitar plays John. Yeah, he does. Here's a Pentad Prism. He says, hey, I'm gonna go off. Um, do you have it? Ink Moth Nexus. Oh no, this isn't looking that's... good. Unless he's got a groundswell, <laughs> but... See if the comments? One, two, three, four, five. Oh no. That hurts. That's just two. Hey, any points count, right? When you're cheating? Yeah, but. When I shave your life total in half? But look. One, two, you. three, four, five. I think. He has a. Is, does he have an untapped land that he can play? Yeah. And he has a Simian Spirit Guide. And he's dead! <laughs> so... Use this planes. Quick, Chris, disrupt him. To cast Angel's Grace. One, two, three, four, five, cast Ad Nauseam. Getcha. He is holding up spell pierce mana. That's yeah, fine. Go get it. One, two, three. I'll take that pact of negation. Pact of negation is okay. Angel Trace. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, he's oh, making it play it out. Player cams. Would you like to look through my deck, he says. <laughs> <laughs> so, so hey. that is the, the few times where... I forgot the Kappa. The Infect player doesn't win in that sort of match just because it was it was sitting there Keller needed any pump smell or he needed to have drawn a fetch land instead of the ink one because then he would have put an extra card in his graveyard and had enough mana to cast become events right so it was basically a very close position like there but after seeing the cards in Derek's hand uh it was not enough for um, oh, this is back to zero for Keller to take it. So definitely Derek stealing it away in that position. I would say mm -hmm. I mean, as, as matchups go, there's not many where you're you're sitting there going, "This is definitely a steal away." But it, ad nauseum versus in fact round one before sideboard stuff, it's definitely a nice victory for Derek. Mm -hmm. So definitely. sideboards, why don't we go? Start over on the Infect side. Two Hercules, one Spell Skite, one Viridian Corruptor, one Dried Arbor, one Relic of Progenitus, one Twisted Image, one Dispel, one Grafdigger's Cage, one Pithing Needle, one Wild Defiance, two Nature's Claim, one Dismember, and one Kitchen Finx. A lot of one ups Yeah. That seems to be the, the name of the game right now. Uh, There's just a lot of... This format right now is just very open. Yes. So a one-of sideboard is okay. Right. Um, You're the Infect player. You tell us. Pithing, what do you like here? Pithing Needle. I like the Pithing Needle coming in uh, because it shuts down Ad Nauseam. Mm -hmm. um, I mean... The spell's fine. Um, to bring in, you can bring in the uh, spell skite here, but like at the same time, it's like you, like uh, nature's claims are also okay. Uh, the big thing is, you don't want to shave too much stuff away. You want to still have a very quick deck um, to be able to kill them. Because you're, you're you're trying to go for that speed play. Mm -hmm. um, so you, in the aspect that it's a creature combo deck, you want to have enough pump spells 
quick enough to kill them off. Um, so there is that aspect to it that you have to, to think about there. Uh, but yeah, like the things to kill off artifacts, definitely the picking needles is the number one choice coming in. Okay. And just to remind everyone, since we've seen Derek's sideboard before, one Hercules Recall, one Ratchet Bomb, one Conflagrate, one Pithing Needle, one Echoing Truth, one Engineered Explosives, one Holy Day, one Ethereal Haze, three Silence, one Rest in Peace, one Surgical Extraction, and one Graph Digger's Cage. And I believe it was supposed to be two Holy Day. Okay. Is what he's looking at. So 14 cards right now, but 15 total. Um, I like Ratchet Bomb, Engineered yeah. Explosives... Uh, Holy Day is not like, too bad. Yeah, fog um, effects. Fog effects. We've we've talked about. <laughs> I have a cut. <laughs> I, like I got. How, I, I got like disrupted. He, like he made he, he made the point. You can fit the needle anything yep. in the goal, and then makes the joke. What himself. what he did was is he did one of these. <laughs> <laughs> High five myself. Yeah. Um, fog effects. We've talked about. Um, with Lyle. Yeah. In that's his true. deck tech and his Azorius mid range deck. Where he likes to have, you know, a fog effect or two, and it's it's an underplayed. I'm I'm gonna say ability, but really it's underplayed card. card. Yeah, under underplayed card. Either it's ethereal haze, holy day, fog. These are just to kind of darkness. protect yourself. Darkness is That'd one. Yep. Uh, protect yourself long enough to maybe turn the tide on your next turn. You know, so he gets in for lethal. You holy day, and then next turn go off. Um, so again, Keller's got to hope that he has a quick hand. <laughs> Lyle makes a good point. <laughs> you can even pit the needle cards without colons if you're into having your cards do nothing. And that, yes, like, we... Also, if you're using pit the needle, make sure you use the exact card name that you're trying to name. Do not sit there and say... Brigmos. Karn. Yeah. And just like <laughs> no, that's got a there's a full name to it because Nahiri. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Make I mean, sure you yeah, play like, okay, if you're pl if you're playing at an F and M or whatever, you can get away with saying it I, I'm gonna be calling your Ink Moth. Well, people don't know I'm gonna be calling your Karn. I'm gonna be calling, you know whatever. But if you're at like an open, if you're at a GP. <laughs> True. You, you don't name Boba Rigmos. You, you better, um, you better start naming the full names of cards. Uh, or you might lose matches that determine if you make it into the top eight, or, yep. in, or you're already in the top eight and you lose matches. <laughs> or you just might lose matches anyway. But, All right, there is a Blighted Agent and a Pendlehaven um, in... What do we got? Chris Kelly. Here's a Noble. Here's a Pendlehaven. Cool. So that will be a Blighted Agent on turn two. Which is fine. Um, especially when you know your opponent's playing lands that enter tap. Mm -hmm. You're feeling great. Temple of Deceit. Here's a Lotus Bloom suspended. That's another thing you can pick in the Yep. Because it has a colon. <laughs> For all you guys at <laughs> home. Yes. Here's a Blighted Agent. Half turn. Setting up for... Probably some major damage. I mean, if he slowed down a little bit, I could tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did see a glistener windswept heat. Oh, yeah. does it does it get around that? Is that considered a mana ability? Lotus Blue? Sacrifice. Tap sack. Get three mana. Oh, it might be, actually, yeah. yeah. So here's an Engineered Explosives. On two. On two. So he can be able to... Uh, you can keep that Noble, but I'm going to get that Blighted. 
Or does it get two or less? Why am I asking you? I got a card spot. Two. It's only on the mana cost. Do you deal in absolutes? Yes. Alright. Good because job. I got blown out by Well, that. that's what I said. Uh, at first. At GP Richmond against mm. a Jun player. Oh, Jun. It was like, oh, this is gross. Oh, my. Whoa. It's escalated quickly. Double fetching. Uh, so three poison came across, I believe. If he's doing all those fetching now to get those guys out. So there's three points of poison. And we'll One see. more counter ticks down. Keller is at 16 life to be able to do that, but... Um, Basically, he's setting himself up that, okay, you can blow up my Blighted Agent, but I'm going to swing in with Glistener Elf and deal four points of damage to you next turn. Six points, of course. Did I miss an attack? Did he play a pump spell? Your visions. Oh, so it was a bounce wall. Okay, ah, there you go. Okay. So, um, I'm mean, saying that mana abilities are a little tricky, but yes, Lotus Bloom is a mana ability. Okay. And yeah, the whole sack part of it just threw me off. I'm so used to just like tap, get mana. Sure. Oh, there was a ground swell. Ah, okay, thank you. I missed the, uh, um, pump. Oh. That is the wrong one. So, four, five, six. So, it would be seven instead of six, then. Um, so, pretty much presenting lethal, then, at that point. Really? Death Rite, though, is not a mana ability. Huh. The more you know. Yeah, not even Pendlehaven. He says, I have you at seven. Here's three. Game number three, then. <laughs> oh, yeah, the agent has power, too. <laughs> Truth. And that, like, sometimes you just have to set yourself up in that position there where it's like, all right, I am going to try to do as much damage as I can this turn so that I'm, it's easier for me to kill you in a following turn. Right. Um... Instead of just go the all-in route and try to kill you all in one turn, you you have to kind of make that decision uh, as an infect player based on on the information that you've got. So go into a game, Clarity. Mm -hmm. That's oh, our straw poll. That's what I was just about to ask. Uh, Where are we sitting on our, our straw poll? Two votes to one for Red Nausea. Ooh, not a lot of votes in tonight. It's okay. We do appreciate everybody at least interacting in chat. Absolutely. Zero power. I was just, yeah. <laughs> Derek's ready to go. He says, let's, let's do this. I'm looking for 12 points at the end of the night. Yeah, I mean, a great way to start off season number two because, the again, all of these points do factor into our continual season. We have a 10-week season and then cut to top eight. Simeon Spirit Guide, Pintad Prism, Couple Temples, Holy Day. Holy Day's actually really good. Um, Looks like a Lotus Bloom. Yep, the Simeon Spear kind in there, too. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. I mean, doesn't have, like, the, oh, I'm going to kill you now, but at least he's got ways to keep it together. I'm not know. a fan. It's going to ship it. What's going on, Shellshock Prince? What's up? What is up? And Keller feels comfortable enough with his to oh, yeah. 
keep. But again, like if you have an infector, you've got pump spells. Really, that's where you want to be in this matchup. You don't have to worry too much uh, with your protection. Um. <laughs> Need a break? Yeah. That hand did nothing. And that's a good point. Like it, it was like a, a sit there and dirtle hand. Uh, it's called Noble High, our best effect creature. Are we excited for Elder Tribune? Um, I'm not as excited for this, but I think the biggest reason why is... They didn't have any infect creatures? <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, that would be cool too, but I think the biggest reason I'm not as excited for this is... I think if we return to Innistrad in the fall instead of in the spring, I would be a little bit more excited. I think I'm just... Because it's spooky? Mm, well, that too. <laughs> no, but um, because of the Eldrazi. Because, like, we just got out of a, a set with Eldrazi, and now we're going back where there's more Eldrazi. Well, it's like I was telling you. There is... Um, I mean, the flavor works for it, I guess, with how they're doing with the madness and everything's being corrupted and yeah. twisted and stuff. But it's like, I just, I, I feel too overwhelmed by the amount of Eldrazi. From like, because I, I, maybe it's also because of like we went to the team event in DC that was for Oath and Battle, so it was like we we were very focused on that set. And so maybe that's why I'm less excited about, oh, there's more Eldrazi, and not like, oh, cool, there's more werewolves, there's more vampires. Like, that that's what I loved about Innistrad, and that's what I was hoping. Yeah. So I think I think that's why I'm not as excited about this set as I was with other ones. I feel like the Eldrazi are, like, the Magic Universe's Legion of Doom. Yeah, okay. You know? Yeah. Like, we're never, at this point, we're just in bed with the idea that the Eldrazi are going to be the villain. And um, it's just, it's what's going to happen now. In some way, like, we'll probably take a break after Innistrad, but we'll definitely be back. Yeah. So, Noble Hierarch for Chris, putting him to 18. Derek jamming an engineer and explosive. Actually, on there one. is one card that I'm excited for. Um, it's just so, isn't it? <laughs> like, I mean, one of the meld ones? Just it, one, though. No, no, no. It's, it's actually just a blue one-cost instant that says counter-target spell that targets a permanent you control. Oh, yeah. Just because I'm going to run it in infect. Yeah. So, that's, I'm excited for that. <laughs> but then again, like, I haven't looked at the full spoiler list a lot, like, yet. Um, Ink Moth into a Blighted Agent for Chris. Which is a good, like way to keep things going, knowing that there is that engineer explosive there. <laughs> there are tons of spirits throughout Magic. We've done an extensive search. Tim and Ben and Chad they're, they're making, trying to figure out making me jelly. They get to talk about Magic all night. Pintad Prism. Where's Muscles? <laughs> they're, they're talking about several girls. <laughs> Alright, so... I agree. We really need that Master of Waves. <laughs> master of Spirits. Uh, so, as we're sitting right now, there's guaranteed two damage on board. Plus four. So now he's at five. Combat. Exalted trigger. One, two, six. And this is where he could say... Holy Day. Holy Day, if he's got it. Holy Day. There it is. 
Oh. Bell Pierce. Oh. So four, oh, five, six. That's Bell Pierce. He has a sickness. Who? The tribes. Tribes. Are the good. aggro tribes. Yeah. I'm gonna play allies. I'm gonna play fish. There's a groundswell and a land for turn. Groundswell, landfall, combat. Ethereal haze. Fogs for days. Yep, seems good. There's also a purple's recall. Interesting. In his hand. White border, by the way. So basically, when this stuff comes off to suspend, he can just say, go away. Stop. So, I mean, Derek's been kind of stuck in this rut this time of, like, he's gotten these fog effects, but he really needs a way to get himself going. Oh, uh, okay. All Hercules now on the end step. Yep. Kind of just put a halt to any sort of shenanigans yeah. as I move to my turn. There's an act of negation. In hand. So he's just going to say, I'm going to blow it up now. Instead of having it back in my hand, I'll at least reduce the amount of damage that you can do by one. Reading pool. Vines kicks. kicks. Uh, Pact of negation. So... Mutagenic. And that'll be three damage. Cool. Infect takes it. The ad nauseum police. It's doing his job. Great way to set things up. For season two for Chris Keller there. Um, not a bad start though for Derek as well, having nine points going into it. Um, hi guys. Hey. Good to see you again. Thanks for sticking with us tonight. Um, and as the end of the night, before we show you guys the point totals, um, we want to say thank you. Yeah. To everybody that's tuned in live, tuned in to watch from the VODs. Um, you know, it's pretty pretty exciting night overall for you guys to kick off season two um and real quick while i'm doing this why don't you thank oh all of our gosh. uh sponsors and stuff <laughs> yeah we didn't look it up at all uh, i forgot about it. um big thanks to first off our patrons trip with comic kung fu the owner who lets us put on all these fantastic games for you guys provides us with the space chris bennett General Manager of Court Street Tavern, Dionysus Bacchus in chat, our table judge. Dude, we couldn't do it without you. Thank you so much mm -hmm. for all your continued su support. To Drewski Brew, the Bronator himself, always hanging out, secretly hiding in chat, waiting for the moment to strike. Thank you, dude. Nate Hop 34 Tatcher Domus, Burgleton, and our mystery donor, Atticus. Thank you guys so much. Burgleton, happy birthday, buddy. Um, yeah. Big thank you, guys. Um, I'm still just, not looking. No, You're no, chatting no, 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 no. to look, people. Look, 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 look. Uh, Glasses of Ursa Deck Tech for the boys. 
exactly that. Okay, so... Um, Drum roll. Show, show them the stickers. Right, in. This, is what, this is what you guys are getting. So we're setting it up. Everybody that has helped to donate to the stream will guarantee get one of these stickers because we have these sweet stickers now. Um, also, we are going to be giving these away at the end of the night. Um, so we've got to a random viewer. We're just going to use MTG Bot to let us know who can get a sticker. Please. If that <laughs> man doesn't work, um, oh gosh! Um, yeah, we can do this. No, that's too much work. I just want a viewer. Why is that? Why did that not work? I'm gonna take it from you. I'm gonna do it. Crickets. It's yeah. What? Wow. Oh, what? MTG bot. How does your viewer command not work? Letting us down. Man. <laughs> Man. That was, that was going to be great. Ugh, you're going to have to... 33 sided die. Go. All right. Um, we got... Twenty-seven right, people. Here we go. I'm gonna. This is how we're gonna do it. Oh, you gonna do it this way? I was gonna just say, list. pick a, g do a random number generator between one, uh, between one and twenty-seven. Are you I'm just gonna. Look? Yep. I'm gonna right. go look. You ready? You're gonna yes. tell me. Okay. Hopefully, it's not blank. Oh God. <laughs> um. Your fingers on like three people. <laughs> Use the fingernail, dude. Uh. Toast face killer. Yo. Toast face killer! <laughs> Rigged! Come on! Oh. Made off 34! Toast face killer. You have won. Um. Thank you guys. Oh no! <laughs> Toast face killer, thank you so much, dude. Hanging out with us. Uh, Shoot us right. a DM, either Pharma's or an R, at the real man, man. Cool. He's not even watching. He's in chat watching right now, which got him into the drawing for winning it. Also, if you've donated to the stream, you also will get a sticker, too. So, uh, other ways to be able to get. Um, turns out you guys just don't read. Wait, what? <laughs> Murray Scorch is a random Oh, viewer. that's why it's man rigged. Man is not currently following the real name. What is happening? Okay. Um, anyway, let's come and look over at this real quick. Point totals, bam, for the first week. That's how we're sitting. Sitting nicely. Uh, of course, Lyle and Jeremy are sitting first, tied up there, first and second. Our viewer. Um, He's already good. Okay. Our viewer works out. Our viewer. So the MTG bot didn't have the R in it. Uh -huh. Okay. Lyle and Jeremy at 13 points. Sorry. Alex Montemi, TJ Schillenberg, Charles Boyer, Chris Keller all sitting at 12 points, close behind. Mm -hmm. And then we have a nice handful of nine-pointers. Jaime Rubinos, Brad Presgraves, Derek Sellers, Philip Dark, Candelis, Ben Farabee, Eric Bloom, Robert Cure, Joseph Lambert, six-pointers, Jacob Belkin going down the list. And again, you guys will notice Nan and myself are not in the running anymore. We will not be keeping point totals for ourselves. It is for you guys, for the players that are taking part in the Invitational each season. Yeah. This is who we're focusing on. So, there you go. First Big week bump. in the books. First week is in the book. This is, of course, um, season number two. So, we've got ten weeks planned for you all tonight uh, to be able to enjoy. We're going to start doing some giveaways for you guys. So, as always, if you like what you see here, please hit the follow button. Twitch.tv slash The Real Nan Man because we do go live. Every Monday, 6.30 p.m. Eastern. 6.30 p.m. Um, also, you can check out our Twitters, at the Real Name Man, at Farmer and R, and at Magic Mondays. There you go. And that will give you the, of course, Modern Magic Mondays Twitter. Um, all that kind of good action for you guys, Twitter-wise. Brett has been doing some other streaming content for you all. 
you putting up? Oh, look yeah. at this. Brent's doing that. So he's got his casual Fridays that he does. Yep, casual Fridays, 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Come on out, enjoy some casual playthroughs of games you may not have seen in a long time. Currently doing Majora's Mask, going into week three. Um, and then also doing some variety stuff on the weekends, which has been a lot of fun. Final yeah. Fantasy Tactics right now on the weekends, so keep an eye on that. You can also just hit the follow button on my channel as well. Same name, Farm of Zirinar, if you're interested. Oh my, look at this. I was just testing it. And what about you, dude? What do you got going on? Um, So I started doing the Warcraft 3 campaign, right. finally. Right. Um, just finished up the human one from Reign of Chaos. All that got put up on YouTube. Super fun, by um, the way. Isn't it? It was. It's great. Yeah. Uh, so I will be out of town this weekend, or I would be doing it again. Um, also, we've got some stuff currently in the works. If you look on our schedule down below, it says coming soon. Uh, some of the stuff that we're going to be working on. Um, Brett and I are going to be doing a playthrough, if you will. And you know what? It's even more competitive now that Ooh. I've learned something it's, new. Uh, by the way, I'm blue version. Of course you are. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get the yellow version. I already have yellow version on my computer. <laughs> uh, so we're doing a, a red versus blue Pokemon original battle playthrough, if you will, Brett versus Nan action. We're going to set some mile markers, like first one to beat a gym, first one to move all the Pokemon, things like that. Maybe do random stuff when that happens or... Drink. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Maybe. <laughs> I know what's coming. <laughs> so we're going to do that. Also, um, my fiance and I are going to start doing some playthrough streams at some point or another. We're going to start with Armacrog, which is Claymation, um, point and click adventure from the guys that did Earthworm Jim. Cool. Um, that'll be the first stuff that we, we do. Just trying to bring some more content for you guys to start enjoying and stuff like that. So um, that's going to do it for the start of season two. If you guys want to play in it, make sure you come out for Comic Kung Fu stuff on Tuesday. Uh, but yeah, well guys, we'll see you next week. Catch you later.